all the teams are ready to go. Let's see what they bring out on Tower Control. New Albacore Hotel. Let's see what happens. CJ coming out from the side of Pankanchancho paired up with Gat and Zap and Kiwi sticking with that GooTuber and 52 Kenza combination. Missiles coming out from Chris paired up with that Stingray. Definitely very good combination there as the 52 does end up going down. GooTuber is around their terrace, so which I don't think they know that. Inkjet coming out from Kiwi, trying to take out Chris on the tower. They definitely do so. And with that 52 sitting there on the tower, it's picking off Lewis as that C jet as well. Not a bad pick there. And Kiwi going down to the end zap is 52 left alone and will decide to jump out this is a one point game currently for Punk and Chancho in the lead Gootuber back backing up Booyah Bomb is online for Black Dragon there's the Inkjet there's the Booyah Bomb both used onto the tower. That's going to be a wipe on the side of Pankan Chancho. And starting it off very strong here by both teams. Doing everything that they need to do to try to get this win here. Fifty two will end up trading with the ends at and this is now 1v1 between the GooTuber and the Custom Jet Squelcher. Kiwi is able to take out the Squelcher. And this and the Enzap is nowhere to be found right now. But there is an Autobomb. Inkjet is ready to go. Here it comes and gets shut down pretty quickly. Lead will end up changing here. And the 52, using the wall to their advantage. They will end up going down as Luis with this squelcher. Having Stingray online, the GooTuber will decide to back up and play it safe. Luis... Holding that tower will grab that checkpoint. And Kiwi coming around from the ramp, trying to take out the end zap, but jumps in the water. That's actually a good tactical play there. So you get uh, to respawn a little bit faster. Stingray is still online for that squelcher, and they take out the GooTuber. That is a good delayed wipe. We can see Stingray come out any moment as they're going past this third checkpoint pretty swiftly. And Gooey trying to shoot off the squelcher. That is going to be a trade there. And Chris trying to take out 52, but no, 52 able to counteract and get the pick of their own. And put 93 points in favor of Henkan Chancho. That is a very good lead for them. And it is almost impossible for them to come back. The CJ does have that ray online. It can be used any any moment now as we do see a jump back here comes the stingray onto that tower booyah bomb coming out will end up going down this is now a 1v1 between the goo tuber and the jet sculpture once more as chris coming in from respawn hanging up a bit trying to get, trying to get the their tenor missiles ready 
Chris is able to take out that goo tuber. And pushing back the 52 gal with their 10 missiles, that is going to be a delayed wipe as the goo tuber doesn't have time to get into that tower. And Hankan Chacho coming from loser's bracket, taking an early 1 0 win. Same comps on both sides. Let's see what difference both the, of these teams make. Chris going over to the left stack area, and if Hankan Chancho can get an early pick onto that Tri Slasher or even Gutuber, that will definitely favor them. Missiles coming up from Chris as first special of the game. And there are so many claims by Chris now. We see a potential push here. Chris is able to score a few points. And Luis is just chilling there. If they can sneak a few more in, that will be nice. And they get one additional clam in, pushing the score down to 74 remaining. And this is a reverse of what we saw last time. Tri Slasher holding this power clam. Armor is at the ready to pair up with the inkjet as well. We can assume that once Kiwi uses inkjet, enemy will use that ink armor. And armor does end up going off. No inkjet. Chris will end up scoring. And here comes the Inkjet, able to take out one member, but look at the pressure that Pankin Chancho is holding. Pushing the score down to 67 remaining. And the tri and Kiwi here actually, holding that power claim. We could see some points on the board for Black Dragon. And backing up, playing it a bit safe. Which is never a bad idea. The Tether Missiles coming out. Good shot onto that K Pro. And Try does end up going down. Kiwi, not much time remaining. They do end up scoring, but that's going to be a free power clam in favor of Pink and Chancho. As, as you saw there, all of the mid control in the blue. Which is very scary for Black Dragon right now. Eighteen clams in favor of Penkin Chencha compared to the five for Black Dragon Booyah Bomb coming out, throwing it onto the little box area there. Chris is going to come in to score. Luis able to get the follow-up power claim as well. That is a very good pick there as two power claims for the side of Black Dragon. And the armor is ready too. So they can definitely force in the push. But no, the tri Slasher going down to the end zap. And the end zap is just forcing the GooTuber to pull back, grabbing the, grabbing the power clam. They are able to score, break the penalty, but that is going to be another free power clam for Black Dragon this time around, with two power clams in their favor. With these two power clams, they can't take the lead, but they can definitely lower the points. Kiwi, Kiwi and Enmi are able to Score, pushing it down to 41. Two clams can take the lead here. That is going to be a lead change in favor of Black Dragon. And more clams coming in from Kiwi. Staggering from Pankan Show currently. 17 remaining. And, even, and it's going even lower. Kiwi coming in with four clams. Two clams will KO and that will be it.
Black Dragons will end up tying it up one apiece as we head into Game 3, which can be either fully one-sided or fully back and forth. Rainmaker on Arrow 1 of Maul. This is going to be a very interesting game here as starting it off with the Sea Jet on the side of Pankajancha with the same comp that they've been running the whole entire time from the side of Black Dragon. Whoever wins this pop will have that early advantage, which will end up going into favor of Punk and Chancho. As the GUI does end up going down, Stingray coming out. You see the 52 by, by the left area where the clan basket would be. And the 52 is just chilling there. On their snipe does end up dropping down a little bit and will back up towards the Rainmaker. Buddha Bomb is online. Splash Wall and they get taken out by that Welcher. Unable to sneak in that in that Rainmaker. Honestly, probably best case scenario for Black Dragon currently. With that Stingray online as well. Here it comes. Trying to take out that Goo Tuber. Is able to do it successfully. Using missiles onto the 52 gal. And this is a very good position for Pank and Chancho right here. Booyah Bomb coming out. But Luis with, with the Rainmaker pushing it all the way to 7. And pretty much to the point of no return. Raymaker going in favor of Black Dragon for the pop. Here comes the Stingray, which can definitely cause some havoc. As this Goo Tuber does end up going down, and so does the 52. Pankan Chancho is absolutely destroying right now. Shooting it over. This can be it, and they don't get sniped off. Pankan Chancho taking... A two to one lead over a very good team like the like Black Dragon. It is time. Pink and Chancho has the chance to force a bracket reset right now. Heading into Kelp Dome Clamblets. Chris with that end zap 85 trying to build up for armor pretty quickly and that 52 gal sticking with the true gold that black dragons have been using and enemy throwing the claim over to kiwi what a play by black dragons to start it off sneaking it by you have to respect that right there and using the inkjet, able to take out the end zap. Kiwi, unable to follow up any more than just the power clan plus one. The pro will end up going down to the 50, 52. And just look at this right now. This 52 having the booyah, they are marked the... Gooey can hit their shots as a good player can. And look at Kiwi again, trying to go behind. But this time, Super Jump coming out. And Pan Conchancho from behind. What a score! 
from Chris, able to sneak in a few clams and take the lead. Oh my goodness. Good job by clam skipping, so... Black Dragon didn't even know they were there and can't follow up with any more. But en Envy here with that splash wall and booyah bomb, but the suction bomb or splat bomb even by the K Pro. A good play there by Penguin Chancho. And we're having good plays by both sides. Both teams are playing extremely smart right now. Power Clam at the ready, so is the Booyah Bomb. One member goes down. They are able to... Penguin Chancho is able to score, and they finally get that wipe they've been looking for. Envy trying to take out the, the K-Pro, and will finally chase them down the end zap, taking them out. Can they follow it up? They can follow it up. Good job by the end zap. You playing aggressive enough to barely able to make some more points on the board. That will be the end of th that push, more than likely. Can't sneak any more in, and Kiwi now. Just chilling here in mid where Pekka Chancho could end up trying to force a bracket reset right now. They have a very good lead, and so far, they've been showing, as the loser's bracket team, that they can hold up with Black Dragon. Chris is able to score. Here comes the super jump. Is able to follow up, get, pushing the remaining down to 18. That is a good 72 points on the side of Pank and Chancho. As anything can happen now, Kiwi and Enemy both have a power clan, but Kiwi, w with that Gootuber, does end up going down, and the 52 just trying to escape at this moment. There is a power clam on both sides, plus a pity clam in favor of Black Dragon. Chris, good shots, able able to take out the goo tuber and Luis here trying to do the little clam skip thing and sneaking a few in the 52 is able to meet up the pro in mid and going able to get the pick saving that power clam and in any here just chilling in mid as Chris coming around trying to stop the push from the back door this is there is one opportunity for black dragon right now and they have to make a push they have to hit their shots but they get wiped and that is going to be game and that is also going to be a bracket reset guys This is going to be a, a very interesting matchup here. If I remember correctly, Pancon Chancho actually did take this game. So, this will be a very solid win for them if if they can take the if they can take Albacore Tower back to back times. So, let's see what happens here on New Albacore Hotel Tower Control. And they're switching it up. Kiwi switching it up off of the GooTuber and using Tenatech this time around, which is honestly a very interesting, something you haven't really seen much before. Building up that Stingray right away. And Luis here just being a bit patient, trying to keep an eye on the flanking Kiwi. 
and we'll decide to jump out and possibly pull out that stingray any moment now. But here we hear on the ramp has the inkjet online and ready. Stingray coming out, but the inkjet from Kiwi is able to take out the stingray. And the checkpoint isn't even taken yet. So that might have been a mistake by Dark Dragon for not claiming that full checkpoint. And this is now a battle for this first checkpoint. Who can get it? With Black Dragon able to pick up that first checkpoint pretty easily, Enemy able to, or Enemy actually going down to sp to fall off, and that's actually going to be a wipe on the side of Black Dragon as well. So Luis here having that Stingray online. This is going to be one of those moments where anything can happen. Ink armor is online for Punk and Ch for Black Dragon. We see the ink armor and ink jet coming out here. Luis does end up going down. That is going to be a wipe on the side of Pancon Chancho. And Black Dragon doing as well as they can so far in this matchup. And they're actually holding up this time around. Luis is using that Stingray, getting some chip damage onto the ink armor on the on Kiwi. Kiwi does end up going down, and the end sap goes down as well. So that's going to be a wipe on the side of Black Dragon, and this is going to be a very interesting matchup now. Ten missiles coming out from Chris here. And trying to push up as far as they can, keeping up as much control as they can. Pekan Chancho trying to push this checkpoint. Chris able to take out the inkjet and then finish it up with the team wipe. As this is now going to be a lead change for Pekan Chancho. And they're showing that it's, it might not actually be a fluke here. That they won the first time around. Stingray is coming out and Chris able to pick off the Ensa. The Ten Attack though getting solo missile inkjet coming out and ends up going down. They're past the third checkpoint and Pancon Chancho is just driving it all the way to the end. What is this, what a game by Pekin Chencho. As we're, game two, we're heading back into Clam Blitz Smackomart, where Black Dragon won last time, but can Pekin Chencho reverse it this time around? Let's see what happens here heading into this matchup. Kiwi sticking with that T-Tech and using that tri slosher and ends up K-Pro combination on the side of Pancon Chancho, which is what they st stuck with for most of the time. And Kiwi still sticking with that T-Tech. Trying to come around. Chris is meeting Kiwi, but Kiwi able to win that 1v1 battle. Kiwi behind their opponents in their opponent's snipe area, taking out the pro. And good wipe by Kiwi here. Seven clams at the ready. Inkjet coming out, able to take out the end zap. Can they take out the pro as well? The pro does end up deciding to jump instead. And with a few more clams to follow up this time around, 59 points remaining and possibly even lower. Kiwi having five clams does end up going down, and that will be the end of that push. So, that is a very good stop by Pankin Chancho there, but a very good lead, especially with this amount of time left remaining in the game. Where Chris 
com coming around, grabbing a few clamps, having nine clamps in total on online for Pank and Chancha. And as we see in that up down view, all this map control in is in Pank and Chancha's favor currently. Booyah Bomb coming up, but Chris from behind able to sneak in a power clam and his teammate does end up going down. That is going to be a wipe on the side of Pank and Chancho. And let's just look at Kiwi here really quick. Up in their opponent's face, Enemy with that tri slosher Having that power clam online. 17 clams at the ready for Black Dragon. Ink Armor will be used. Inkjet is online as well. The pro going down to Splat Bomb and the Tri Slasher able to get some more <laughs> picks off and Kiwi throwing more clams in, getting a few more points, closing it down 14 and counting with over two and a half minutes left in the game still. Kiwi does end up going down, and the tri Slasher going down as well with 92 points scored in the past th less than 3 minutes. A good power clamp score by Pekon Chancho as Chris trying to sneak a few clamps in. That is going to be a wipe. 44 remaining. This is almost a back-and-forth clam blitz game, which you really love to see here. And Kiwi waiting for that basket to drop, but forced back because of the time that their opponents respawned in. Using that inkjet, trying to get a pick before they make the push... Almost taking out the pro, but Power Clam did end up going in. And that is actually going to be game with that Power Clam. Black Dragon tying the score of 1-1. And this is the exact same story we saw in the Grand Finals so far. Heading into th this next game of Rainmaker Arowana, or Kiwi, pulling out the Dually Squelchers this time around. They do have a little bit more range, and they paired up with an Enzap as well. They have the more paint, too. So, this is going to be very interesting. Let's see what the difference is this time around missiles coming out from Chris grabbing that rainmaker almost right away in the first 30 seconds pick picking off the end zap and those dually sculptures get getting forced to the side by that stingray and Chris really trying to stay alive but ends up going down to those squelchers where the Sea Jet starting to get pushed back as well. They will end up deciding to jump out instead, but Kiwi just keeping that offensive pressure. Stingray is coming out. Kiwi. Going up into the alleyway and with the sun zap, trying to challenge the other zap. The zap from Punk and Chancho will end up winning that 1v1. And here we go, Chris, pushing it all the way down. Let's see what happens here. Chris getting stopped at 18 by Kiwi with those uh, squelchers and... This is pretty one-sided currently, as Black Dragon doesn't have any points to their favor. Kiwi does end up getting shot down by that Enzat, and Chris popping the Rainmaker 1v1 between Enzaps currently. 
missling, I believe, both members of Black Dragon here. And pushing forward, trying to get a pick as Kiwi in their own alley. Both members on the left side of the map ends up is and is going to drop trying to take out the Rainmaker, and Chris does end up going down. This is an opportunity for Black Dragon to actually try to get some points on the board. Going, going up into that left alley, the members of Black Dragon are so far apart, Luis is able to use that Stingray, able to get one, able to maybe get two, no, the Stingray expires. And this is just a fight for mid right now, as the Rainmaker, so low, 30 points remaining, and ends up going down to those Tenda Missiles, actually. Jet Squelcher is getting pushed by the Duelist Squelchers. That Swap Bomb trying to be annoying, and Kiwi rushing... And oof, the Squelcher will end up jumping out to safety. Kiwi will end up going down. And this is now a 2v1 versus the end zap of Black Dragon here. Remaker will reset. And this is now in favor of Panka Chancho once again with the Dually Squelchers. Chasing the Stingray. And will end up going down as well. The end zap. Trying to rush this Rainmaker. Is able to get the pick. But that's actually going to be a trade there. This, squel this Jet Squelcher has to pop it and push it in. Or just not pop it and stall. Kiwi. In their alley. Trying to do little sharking. Able to take out the end zap, building up that ink storm. And enemy trying to push, trying to pull back the, or push up the Rainmaker, I believe, a little bit further. As Luis will end up jumping out. Playing it safe, but he almost has their Stingray on the line. And this can go anywhere. Now, 3, 2, 1, no one will grab the Rainmaker. And Pekin Chacho taking game number t 3 once more. this time around. And double Clash Blaster from Black Dragon with pure run speed? What's this? Th they have no paint. With those Clash Blasters just firing and firing, Penguin Tension should be able to take the zone because of the paint coverage, but the Zap ends up going down. Zone going in favor of Black Dragons right off the bat. Ten Missiles and Booyah Bomb actually able to take out Kiwi, and Zone will be slowly neutralized. Luis here is chilling here on the zone. Missiles coming out. There's not much opportunity left for Black Dragons, and that's actually going to be a wipe painting up the zone they are, and they're going to try to push in here. They're going to try to push into their opponent's space. As to enemy trying to rush the 52, pinning up for Tenta Missiles, Booyah Bomb 
coming out onto the zone, and it will be neutralized momentarily and flipped over in favor of Megan Chacho. The, f the 52 gal d does end up going down, and Kiwi as well going going down to the end zap, and this is now a one v one. Will Zone be neutralized? But the cl but the Clash Blaster can't really paint as well as it sh really wants to paint. So Zone still in favor of Hank and Chancha, trying to get those picks. Enemy using those Tenta missiles to their advantage, try to paint up the zone with the missiles, is able to get a pick onto one of the members of Pinkan Chancho and will finally neutralize the zone after so long, but will they be able to cap it even? So the end zap does end up going down and this 52 rushing and ends up going down. That's going to be a staggered wipe there. And with 10 missiles at the ready, let's see what Kiwi does here. And they get shut down by the end zap. 52 coming in from their box area. P painting up the zone. It is currently in the neutral enemy is able to get the pick onto the end zap and booyah bomb coming out will end up getting cancelled zone will be neutralized and back in favor of black dragon this 20 point penalty is pretty quickly going to go down and missiles taking out chris the end zap kiwi just trying to hold that left area as both members of Panka Chancha just holding around the zone as well as they can. Kiwi able to trade. Zone will be neutralized. If, enemy can, if Chris can cap the zone, that will be very good for Panka Chancho. And the zap going down. The 52, if it gets one tap onto enemy's class blaster, that will be very good. But enemy able to take take out the 52. We are heading into the final few seconds of this matchup. And this could end up being a lead change too. Lead will go in favor of Black Dragon. And Black Dragon will tie it up. So... Game number five, we are going to a Starfish main stage battle. But right, let's just see what happens here. Tower control on Starfish main stage. And we see that bamboo from Kiwi finally coming out here with that rapid end zap combination from Pankan Chancho. Chris is using that end zap, building up those 10 missiles, th throwing them out, doing some zoning type things in his area and Chris Mo moving around Kiwi o over on the left side as you saw there Louise with that baller going in trying to get a pick with it unable to do so this is now 2v1 with a rapid and close range and Cr and Chris will end up going down to the end set. Pushing the first checkpoint, Kiwi starting to push up a little bit, taking control of their opponent's snipe. This is a very good position for Bamboozler right here. Able to take out the end zap and this rapid blaster getting getting zoned out by those 10 missiles, pushed forward, and Kiwi 
able to pick off the rapid and making it past checkpoint two. Ends up trying to escape. Their teammate is long gone and will stay oh stay alive, has that armor on the line. Let's see what happens here. Armor is up. And they're going to start to push into this tower. Baller is popped, though. Unable to get a pick with it. But Enemy with that rapid, or I guess that rapid, does end up losing that matchup. Kiwi will decide to jump out to save their own life. As his first checkpoint is now going to go in favor of Pankan Chancho. So, using those Tenta Missiles as well, trying to see where their opponents are, see if they can keep moving this tower, and ends up going down to the opposing NZAP, 85, with armor online as well. Kiwi pushing up into the right wing, and the Rapid, by, by their court, May go in for a round, a round for a flank, and that's going to be a wipe on the side of Pankan Chancho and Black Dragons. Currently have a one to checkpoint lead. Currently, if they can hold this, they can just bring it all the way to the end. Kiwi throwing out those Tenta missiles, and they're. And Kiwi's in a very good position right now. Highest point of the map. Shooting in from their opponent's spawn. Kiwi will end up decide to back out here. Not really the best situation for Kiwi right now in a 2v1 situation. They need to wait for their teammate to come back in with that ink armor. And keep Kiwi all the way on the far side. Baller coming in, trying to move around the little barrier type thing. And ends up going down to the ends at 10 missiles coming out from the 89. And a 1v1 with the 85 and the 89 does end up winning that 1v1 battle there. Chris building up those Tenta missiles, using them on to the members of a Black Dragon. They don't have much time on the clock. Le less than 30 seconds and possible overtime. Suction Bomb not doing too much, but the missiles will. Finishing off the end zap. Baller on onto that tower. The ra Rapid able to take out the end zap. But there is not much time left on the clock. Super jumping in. They need to take out the bamboo. Bamboo goes down. They're going to try to get past this third che second checkpoint. It's overtime. And they take the lead. And what a game there to end it off. As Pan Kan Chancho will be your winners of Squid South June. 25th, 2021.